Welcome to this video. Wow, this is long overdue. If you've been paying attention, you know that version 2.0 has been in the works for a few months now. And finally, finally, I'm excited to show you uh, the fruits of our labor. So, according to the previous comments and videos, you don't like music and you don't like long intros. So let's skip the fancy graphics and all kinds of animation. And let's just dive in and show exactly what's waiting for you when you power up SketchWow version 2.0. So what you see here in front of you is the brand new redesigned dashboard. Ooh, yeah. Yes, many of you have been hounding us to just include thumbnails in the app. So now you can see here that all of your most recent designs are right here in front of you. Easy to kind of see what's happening and click on that design that you created days ago, hours ago, weeks ago, or whatever, okay? Also, a couple of handy links here just for support, just to get tutorials and information to help you learn the software more effectively. Also, there's a nice tab here for templates. So all the templates are here as usual, uh, organized, of course, by categories. We've added a new category called presentations here, but also we've added a lot of templates amongst these categories here within SketchWow. So this is just the, the actual interface you'll see when you're first open up the software and you can see here, I've got a few different templates. We do use the software ourselves internally. You can see here upper right, that's an ad we will be running soon. Different types of graphics, different types of animations. And of course, as you see here, this is the thumbnail you probably saw when you clicked on this video, searched this video, however you found this video on the wonderful world of uh, YouTube or if you're on Facebook or whatever. So I'm gonna click on that, open it up and just kind of walk through here what's new and exciting with version 2.0. All right, so as you can see here, this is kind of a high level overview. I've dropped in some graphics and some animations from the new version 2.0. Uh, more fonts, more templates, new features, new icons, just a whole lot of stuff. So anyway, rather than just ramble on here, let me just open up my little cheat sheet here. Uh, and there's so much stuff to talk about. I actually had to create an agenda just like, you know, Mrs. Crabtree does back in grade one when she's trying to, you know, make sure the class runs as scheduled. So I decided to have some fun here with a bit of a hand-drawn style checklist. This background, which I really like, is actually included in SketchWow Pro if you're a pro customer or thinking about it. So it has that cool kind of, you know, kind of paper look here, which I tend to like. Let's jump into it, shall we? Today's agenda. All right, so number one is we added a lot of new fonts. I know not the most exciting thing, but sometimes you wanna find the right font for the job. So anyway, you can see here, you can search as usual on your favorite fonts, many fonts added here. Also, of course, your system fonts. So if you're using any fonts in a particular language or brand fonts, those are all there as well. And again, you can search by just typing in a letter A, all the fonts that start with A appear or R, Arial, um, Architect's Daughter, you get the idea. So again, that's very handy for um, just finding new creative ways to add some more color and spice to your diagrams in SketchWow. More fonts, hand-drawn fonts, and also some unique fonts that aren't so hand-drawn-ish, if you will, if that's even a word. Moving on here, new templates added. I'm not gonna go through all the templates. You can dive in if you have an account and go through the templates added a lot more templates related to visual content, uh, a few more diagrams in there. And anyway, those are always helpful to kickstart the process, right? Because sometimes it's great starting with a blank screen. Other times you don't want to stare at a blank screen. You want to use a template. Uh, our customers love, love our templates. So we're happy to add more in there to save you time and get the job done faster and make you look good, right? Because obviously our designers are pros and really do a great job at creating these templates. So new templates. New icons added, all right? I've kind of shown you a few here um, on the thumbnail and the previous screen and also here, a lot of icons added. And here's the thing, folks, we don't just add icons at random. You probably already know this. Our goal is not to create uh, 10 million icons and have you drown in a sea of useless icons you'll never use. We really are very selective on the icons we add, um, which are more in the sketch notes type style of icons as you'll find, all right? So a lot of icons added, uh, also new characters and faces added, including these cute little guys over here, even the me wow, haha, a cat. Um, again, stick figures, characters, um, you know, just kind of headshots, uh, boys, girls, male, female, 
uh, even dogs and cats, as you can see here. So just trying to add some more fun icons and characters just to, again, give you more options in terms of explaining your ideas, your process, creating lesson plans, uh, mapping out, you know, brainstorming, whatever it is you want to do, just trying to give you more options in your creative palette within SketchWow, okay? Also included some new animated icons, which I know many of you have been asking for. You love the animated icons in SketchWow. So those, a bunch more waiting for you. Also, you can change the color now. So we can go to the upper left here, and if I wanna match the same blue color I'm using here, use the little eyedropper tool. I can go and click on that guy there, and then voila. Now this little animated coffee cup is the same color as all the other you know, images and, um, and fonts on the page. So pretty cool, right? All right, so moving down the list here, uh, features. We added a few new features to the app. Uh, in particular, there's a couple of stars of the show I want to highlight without going and talking about everything that was added into the software. So number one is icon search. This was a huge request. Uh, we do apologize it took so long. Our team had to, had to go and actually add tags and keywords to every single icon in the software. And as you can appreciate with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of icons, um, this took a long time. So anyway, I'm happy to report now. If you go and click on elements up here in the upper left, type on search. And if I type on cat, click on cat, oh, voila, we got a couple of cat photos there. Cool, right? Or any other word that comes to mind, you know, you'll go ahead and click on that. This is specifically more helpful now because we're adding so many more icons and characters and faces and animated icons. It really makes it easier when um, searching. Also, you'll notice here, the little play button there, that indicates that this is an animated icon. So pretty handy, right? So now when you search, you can automatically see if the icon is animated or if it's a regular uh, static icon. So again, very exciting as I know this is one of the most top requested features for months and we finally got to it. Another big, big, big feature, and we've been hearing about this again for months, people saying, can I copy and paste images from Sketchfile into PowerPoint, into Keynote, into Google Slides, into any app under the sun? And up until now, um, you had to export, but now you can copy and paste any image into any app. I'm not gonna bore you with the process, it really is this simple. You click on the image, you right click, you click here, copy as image, go to Google Slide, Google Doc, Word, I mean, Excel, whatever is the app you're using, you simply go and paste, as you normally would, into a field or on a blank page, and that's it. Uh, you can copy groups of images or a single image like you see here. So this really saves a lot of time because we appreciate that it does take a little extra time to go and export every single image. And many of you want to bang out presentations really fast if you're using PowerPoint or Google Slides or Keynote, whatever it is. And this makes it real easy to take all these cool hand-drawn effects, hand-drawn style designs, right-click, copy, bang, and paste into any app of your choice. So. Uh, pretty awesome, right? I mean, if you are already a customer, you're probably jumping up and down in your chair like a five-year-old at Christmas because this was, again, one of the most requested features uh, we have had by far. So moving on down the list to some uh, less exciting stuff, but also uh, pretty darn exciting if you're a customer already. Um, first of all, we fixed a few issues. Um, the, the bigger kind of issues we fixed were Many of you were saying that when you double click on a speech bubble or double click on a frame or double click on certain icons, that not all of them would automatically allow you to add text. Let me show you what I'm talking about here just to demonstrate real quick. We're gonna go into speech bubbles. We're gonna go and drag this into here, way up top here maybe, okay. Now when I double click on it, I can just put in text like this. See, pretty cool, pretty handy, right? Double click, boom, done. Of course you can resize the font, make it larger, smaller if you want to, it's up to you, I mean, whatever. But not all of the icons supported this. So now we've done our best job to make sure every single logical element, like a speech bubble, um, you know, like a frame, allows you to double click and add text. Again, I'm not saying this is like, you know, changing anything major, it's just a huge time saver to have to go and click on the text, uh, menu item and go and add text and group it. Now it's just double click, boom, done, and you're good to go. And of course, this rotates with the uh, the actual um, element as well. Again, very, very handy, right? So anyway, that was added, uh, big, big request. Another element we added was 
um, you know, moving elements on the canvas. And you, you probably may have recognized this, that sometimes when you're moving stuff around in SketchWow, sometimes it gets a bit busy, shall we say, right? Uh, and we've made some changes behind the scene to make it easier to kind of move stuff around. You know what I mean? It's just small little things like this that make the app uh, more pleasurable, easier to use, and provide a, a better experience overall. So. In a nutshell, I think we've actually broken the record for maybe the shortest video. Um, I'm not the one jinx myself. Anyway, these are all the new features waiting for you inside a sketch. Wow, hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, a lot of stuff was added to this. And as I've been saying before, this is by far, hands down, the biggest update we have created to date. And that's why it took so long to get this out the door. So if you're, if you're waiting for this, we appreciate your patience. We appreciate your continued support. If you're not using SketchWow yet, well, what are you waiting for? Because as you can see here, we've just blown the doors off this thing and added so much. And this is a free upgrade for all current customers. And if you join SketchWow today, you will get access to version 2.0 right now, the minute you go ahead and process your order. And of course, as always, we include free updates. So I'm gonna sign off for now. I hope that you're excited about SketchRoute 2.0 because we are, and we're excited that we finally can bring this new version to you for all our existing customers and for new customers who jump on board anytime today or the next few weeks. I'm going to sign off for now, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Have yourself a great day.